brush painting for beginners. We are going to do a simple wisteria today. And uh, now it's May into June. It's wisteria, wisteria is uh, blooming everywhere. And uh, this is a very simple, fun subject that is pretty much uh, you won't have any trouble the way I'm doing it to make a mistake. So I hope you just go ahead and get your paint, your brush and paper, start doing it. All right, today I'm going to use a pea paper. It's a, our vintage pea paper will be also featuring our landscape lesson. Mm, May, uh, is this Friday or mm -hmm. next Friday? This Friday. This Friday, May 26th. And um, um, I'm using this paper because it gives great color. And then you also can do it with a wash background. So I will show you that the one with or without the background that I have done it before. Um, brushes, I'm going to use a large pine needle brush and uh, our uh, um, OAS flow brush for the flower and this is for the um, for the leaves and the, the stem. That's a medium flow, yeah? No, this is a regular flow. Okay. All right, and then the color, I choose to use the 36 Kuritake watercolor. The reason I use this is I really like their purple and blue, but if you have the companion set, you can use the navy blue and purple and then my red to get approximately the same color. And then uh, the bright light, the color will be uh, on the budget side, the, the color will not be as transparent as this, but they will do too. So I have blue, purple, blue, purple, and then red, purple, two kind of blue, uh, purple, and the uh, rouge, and then also carmine. And uh, I'm starting with my flow brush, and then I'm going to use oh, Sakura white for my white. So I'm loading the white and then rinse the tip off. And then I'm loading a little bit carmine and blend. And then I'm loading my blues and blend in the middle. So the So two dots. I'm reloading my brush because my red is gone. Calm my blue. White, carmine, rinse the tip off and get the blue.
more weight, carmine, this it off. White, carmine, and blue. And then I rinse it off. And then I start getting some more carmine. And then dark purple. More intense. Right, I'm rinsing my brush clean. I'm getting some yellow from the palette. Soften the yellow up with a little white. And then I'm going to do red purple with this dark maroon color. Okay. And then I'm going to use the large pine needle with a little yellow, with the green, and with some orchid, a little brown. So I want to get a little wing here.
Okay. White. Good color, my. There's the tip. Blue. Rinse the tip, blue. Pine needle, large pine needle brush. You can use rinse my brush off, get a little white and a little yellow. Go the center. Okay, rinse it off with um dark purple. Make sure it's intense enough. here All right, and then we'll use pine needle, large pine needle with green orchid.
Okay, and this is my demo for the West area. And then I will also show Evan the one that I did the blue wash back when I still wear.